are you doing? Welcome to Out for a Rip with Bill. Today we're on our way home from work. We haven't done one of these in a minute or two. But let me tell you what. Kelly made me an apple crisp today. Thank you, Kelly, for that. You know who you are. I got some cotton candy sugar from a cotton candy machine. Now, if you all don't know this, yes, I got a cotton candy machine. No, I don't eat it. Yes, I'm gonna make it for people. Yes, you can watch if you want, but you have to tell me in the comments below if you want to watch that. Here, let's just get right over here. Sorry about that, how you doing? So you have to let me know in the comments below if you wanna see it, the cotton candy machine. I got a new seat poster, Stacy's e-bike there because the seat post that was on it bent. So we got a new one of them in the box back there and some bags for the cotton candy. That's what's going on there. Freaking right, that's what's going on there. Making cotton candy is actually kind of fun. I can't wait to show you. Leave a comment down below if you want to see it. Why wouldn't you? There's a big fender bender there on one of the roads back there at lunchtime. It looked like a pretty good one. It looked like they were coming. One guy was going up the overpass like this. The other guy was coming down like this. And it looks like one of them might have went over the other lane like this. And they caught each other like that. And the Ford looks like it went, how you doing? And the other truck looks like it went, how you doing? And then it looks like the door fell off the Ford F-150. And the guy got ejaculated off the friggin' seat there. And the other guy looked like he might have been okay. But I didn't see much. Just so you know. So I hope them the best. Oh, another question I got for you. This is why I come on here. Quantum AI. Has anybody in my comments put any money into that? I'm just curious because there's so much going around. I don't know. You don't know who to trust and whatnot and this and that and the other thing. So let me know in the comments below if you've invested in Quantum AI. And if you have, what site did you use? Did you use the actual Quantum AI site or did you use one of the other 100,000 sites there is out there for it? I don't know if I should invest in it or if I should just walk away from it or whatever. You let me know in the comments because I'm getting old now and that's all there is to it. And there's nothing I can do about it but try to save some money, I guess, for retirement. That's all we all can do. Trees are turning really fast right now. We went camping this weekend. It was a good time, but the wind was relentless. It didn't stop blowing the whole time we are there. So it was nice out, but it was windy out. So where I was parked was good because there was sun on the trailer, but I had a lot of bees. If you went on the other side, there was no bees, but a lot of wind. So it was kind of one of those weekends where it was like, freak. <gasps> you know what I mean? Do I go here or do I go there? I don't know. What do you do? I gotta go get an old guard done on the Chevy Silverado right on Saturday. I gotta go to Pug One's there. He's gonna give me an undercoat. I said, you know what? Have out of there, Chachi. You nope. fucking redhead son of a bitch. Squirt my truck with some oil there. You know what another thing? He talks about dicks and butts an awful lot. I don't know if he's gay yet. I haven't figured it out. But we're gonna have to figure that out. Pug, do you really wanna stick your dick in an asshole or not? Like, what's really going on, Hey? fucking with you buddy kind of still can't figure it out though jim inquiring minds want to know is pug one gay or not what half <laughs> what's really going on got uh just about half a tank of fuel which should be good until tomorrow's payday so we'll top that back up tomorrow because you know the gas prices are so good right now and buying food is so much fun you americans think you get taxed come on over to canada we'll show you what getting taxed is all about oh boy us poor Canadians, we just get hammered. I know you get taxed too and you get hammered too. I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying, I think we get taxed more. <laughs> we can't write shit off as easy either. I should really talk about that kind of stuff. So I really don't have a clue when it comes to that stuff. But I was told you can write stuff off with your home or something. But leave a comment down below and let me know if that's kind of the truth to that or no truth to that. I can't write off anything to do with my house at all. Let me know in the comments below. Got a winterizer trailer. Pick myself up some trailer RV antifreeze air for the old trailer rooski. So we got to get that done. Might be selling that trailer in the spring. I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to because I want to put some money into the step van that you've seen in the previous videos there. We got to get back on that. I like to just get that side sanded and primed before winter hits hard. So we should get to that hopefully maybe this weekend. But I can't promise anything. 
because every time I want to do something, something happens. I went to get my RC boat back out this summer to take it for a rip, but I never even moved it. He needs a new this and that and the other friggin' thing. I actually can't remember because it's been so damn long. The rock crawlers I still have, and the slash I still have. The UDR and the X Max are Gandhi. Yeah, they went away. When I was building my truck, my spare body that is, I needed some extra funds, so I sold them two things. That's almost time to come off the road, too. We're gonna have to maybe call it a day. I really don't know. Hey, has anybody ever had any Fago? Fago? Faye, 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 go, Fago, root beer. It's pretty good shit, actually, for a dollar forty-nine, which I didn't pay that for it. It's in the store for dollar forty-nine, but yet it's two something. Is this an American dollar forty-nine? Can you get that stuff from America? Faygo root beer. Sounds like something that my buddy's boyfriend would buy. Faygo. You never know, though. One never knows, though. Sorry about that. Maybe. See that? Probably not. There's a lawnmower back there with a snowblower attachment. We don't really need that around here because we don't get much snow anymore. But there's one back there. Are you still recording even? Well, you are. Freaking right you are. There hasn't been much to tell you. Well, there has been much to tell you, but I haven't been much to tell you. Hey, you know what's funny? That old, I don't know if you remember me using that old uh, Panasonic camcorder or whatnot. I lost the power cord for that thing again, so I can't charge it, just saying. But that thing is like, what, 10 years old now? No, seven years old now. No, 10 years old now. And it's still worth a thousand bucks. How is that even possible? I don't even use that thing. Why do I even keep it? Anybody looking for a camcorder? I have one. How you doing? What is this guy doing? Nothing into nothing. Oh yeah, freaking right you did. Driving a Mercedes and he's doing 60 in an 80 because he's a meat cheeser. Oh freak, look at this guy. Just cocking everybody right over. Get out of the fucking way there, ditjit. Not the Ford Focus, of course, the guy in front of him. Oh my God, why? Well, this guy's turning anyway, so he's gonna cock me over. And then this guy's gonna cock me over. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go freaking full tilt on this guy in this Mercedes. Oh yeah, how you doing, 43 LS? Oh yeah. Oh, perfect car coming. Why wouldn't there be a car coming? Let's go, Josh. I'm gonna push you off the freaking road. I am. Do the speed limit, you son of a bitch. Get the hell off the road if you can't do the speed limit. Jim? What do you think of that? That's how I roll. Get out of the freaking way if you can't drive the speed limit, Captain. Arr, Jimmy. Do you ever want to pit maneuver somebody just because? I'd love to have a push bar on the front of this thing and just give somebody a pit maneuver. But then I get charged for like vehicle aggravating assault. I don't know. Vehicle, well, you get vehicle manslaughter if you kill a guy doing it. But if you just pit maneuver him, that should be allowed. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Then you just keep going. That'd be a hit and run. But do the speed limit and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. That's what I say. If you don't do the speed limit, you deserve a pit maneuver. Friggin' right you do. Too bad it wasn't a perfect world and everybody drove the exact same way. Ah, we'd probably still be pissed off, wouldn't we? We're humans. We're never happy. Wonder what's for dinner tonight. Wifey's off this week, but she probably don't even home right now. She went to her sister's today and she won't come home in time to have dinner ready for her poor old husband. Why would she? Ah, oh, the bandit. Oh, yeah, the bandit United Rentals. Frank. How you doing? Why wouldn't they have their own chipper? Why would they rent one from United Rentals? Their tree company. Maybe theirs broke and they needed one. That's probably what happened. We'll go with that one. Eh? Anyways, I'm just getting home here, so we're gonna see what's this and that and the other thing, and we'll talk to you on the next video. How's that sound? Pretty good? Friggin' right it does.